Let's see. We'll run through the uh, the usual list of checklist items. Um, current viewer release candidates. We have three out. I didn't update the list on the agenda this morning when we put out the maintenance release. So we've got the benchmark viewer, which is the end of the view, the GPU table. Uh, we have separate one that's got a whole bunch of maintenance fixes, um, and another one that has just the AIS v3 and attachments fixes. Um, some Thank of you those for that, are by the way. some of those are in both, uh, but um, I we couldn't back up too far to create that one, but it it is at least a relatively easy one to merge. Um, so, yeah, there are always new GPUs to, to deal with. Uh, so we're we're um, we're we're probably going to promote that one pretty soon, I think. Um, and uh, the same two project viewers are out there. Um, I also have a snowstorm one. Um, that's a, a bunch of open source contributions. Uh, and that's real good. Uh, let's see. And then, so you, you can see all of that. Uh, there are no other big surprises coming in the wings that I know of uh, in the viewer world. Um, we're mostly putting our energy into upgrading the tools. and. Um, that's going pretty well. Uh, you know, it's always annoying to have to do lots of work just to get things back to where they were. But there you go. It's got to be done every now and then. Um, other ongoing developments. We continue to look at group chat changes. Uh, we've got at least one or two more rounds of those changes that we think are worth making. Did you get my? Uh, I haven't seen you in Skype, Oz. Did you get my message? Yeah, I've been that? trying to stay out of Skype. Actually, you're going to have to find me on something else. Oh dear! Um, <laughs> I, just, I just had too many messaging things to keep track of, and I just needed to close a window. Um, I'm I'm usually in I'm usually on Freenode IRC, and uh, I'm also reachable on Google Hangouts. So that's my those are my my two primary ones. Uh, so it was basically a, a kudos that it, it's been noticed that group chat has been improved. Oh, good, good. Uh, yeah, uh, that's we're pretty happy with the latest set of changes. Um, there, there are more to be made, but uh, we're we're definitely feel like we're making uh, significant progress. Um, uh, Veer has started work again on the hover thing. He had stopped in order to do the attachments fixes, but we, we are gonna we are gonna get back to the hover height adjustment. Um, and uh, we'll hopefully have an update for you on that by the next meeting. Um, and uh, texture and mesh fetching. The CDN Adventure. Um, most of you probably saw the blog post that we did this morning on how that's been going. Um, <laughs> adventure. It, that's that's a good that's a good term. <laughs> well, you know, uh, listen. When you do anything at this scale, it's a it's always an adventure. Um, but uh, I mean, I mean, mostly. Uh, I think I have the URL. No, I don't. Uh, I move. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. That's uh, right, Jonathan. And sometimes you end up without a paddle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I mean, mostly it's going really, really well, um, and and that's what it kind of makes it. That contributes to it being difficult to figure out what's going wrong when it isn't going well. But we're we, we have a lot of things to work on, uh, and uh, we think we 
are, are making progress even on those. So um, there's still <laughs> there there's still things to be done, and uh, Worley has, as usual, been invaluable along with uh, other people um, doing doing remote testing for us uh, because, of course, some of what goes wrong depends on where on the internet you are uh, because it makes a difference which of the CDN points of presence you hit. So uh, it's really helpful to have people who are in the places that are having problems um, to help us uh, isolate what they are. So that's going well. Um, we're, we're putting in a lot of uh, better capability to monitor in more detail what's going on and uh, and, and we're we're happy with how it's going. So, um, still some bumps in the road to iron out, but we're we're getting there. So, um, and I think that's kind of a an update. Oh, uh, the um, viewer managed marketplace stuff is proceeding. Um, expect that to be doing testing on a DD pretty soon sometime in the next few weeks hopefully before thanksgiving um but uh but pretty soon in any event we're, we're getting there um but that's going to be a uh, a slow rollout process that is not going to be something that's going to appear on one a dd one week and then show up two weeks later on the main grid it, we're going to take our time with that um and we don't really want to be making major changes to marketplace uh, during the peak shopping season, and we're there. Why not? No <laughs> sense of adventure. Yeah, none at all. We're having quite <laughs> enough <laughs> adventure. Uh, from at our end, we're uh, aiming. Our, our release has been postponed a little bit, so we'll probably not get to release it until the twenty um, fourth of December, somewhere around there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, Go ahead. Actually, see, no, if, but, uh, <laughs> see if I ever speak to you again. <laughs> um, we will have a group ban though in uh, this release. So. Oh well. So have have your group ban servers ready. Half of SL is going to start banning everybody. Well, I I I think I think that won't be a problem. Um, I noticed that you mostly blogged about the things you weren't going to do. Uh, <laughs> I, I sort of had to have something in there because there's going to be a, a lot of, I mean, th there's other things that I didn't even mention, uh, you know, experience tools, all kinds of stuff that we're not going to have. And it's always, you know, my inbox is always full of rage and hate with all the things that we don't have. Well, you could always tell people to use our viewer. We're, well, I do. Well, I do. And in, fact, I did. in fact, I did. Uh, I even <laughs> wrote on there that, you know, we've been having to switch to the Linen viewer. I, I got to actually say something about that since you brought it up. <laughs> uh, when I was using the Linen viewer, I was um, using the people panel, or nearby, as you guys call it, and I was in a group profile, and then I saw somebody moving, an avatar moving behind the floater panel, so... I clicked to go back to the nearby, and suddenly I lost everything I was doing in the group panel. Doesn't that drive you crazy? I, I don't understand what you mean. Well, so with Firestorm, when we open up a group panel, it's it's in its own floater. And so you can minimize it or move it or do whatever you need. Whereas on the Linen Viewer, um, everything shares the same space. So if you need to multitask to switch mean, to another panel, you actually Nearby lose. groups. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, oh, that you made, have those as separate floaters. We have them separate, yeah, separate. and that way, oh, you can, and it drove me. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, "What? Where did all that work go that I was just doing? <laughs> it's gone." Yeah, well, that's what you get for multitasking. <sighs> well, it motivated me to try to get group <laughs> into Firestorm, even if only we could use it ourselves. <laughs> oh. I see. Uh, yeah, I'm. You, you're. It, it may well be that that's just left over from the fact that it was all in the sidebar panel for a while. Um, oh, a sidebar, yeah. Actually, what you have now is an improvement over the sidebar. We we we've recently we've been getting a wave of people um, requesting that we do something like a sidebar. Uh, Isn't that funny? Yeah. 
I think that's why is because when we eliminated the sidebar in Firestorm, um, then we had because you know we had months and months of people raging because we have a sidebar, and then when we eliminated it, we had months and months of raging because we eliminated the sidebar. Yeah. Well, you know, just goes to show you, you just can't win. Okay, Monty, I have to ask you because you said to ask you, what's the five two five project? Oh, 525, that ship on 828. <laughs> In reference to the uh, Christmas schedule. Oh, I see. <laughs> Internal name. And, uh, yeah, that one slipped a bit. <laughs> she's, she's, she's going back to before my time there. Now, uh, Izzy is here. Izzy is here, yes. Izzy yes. is here, and Ed is here at the same yes. time. Yes, uh, amazing. Uh, I, I was quite upset that I missed uh, the last third-party viewer meeting because Izzy was here, and I've had a question for Izzy. How you doing, Izzy? Uh, my question is, we were told that the numbers... <laughs> yeah, that's what I think. <laughs> um... We were told that the numbers uh, that you could call for billing that are on the web page for the billing, to contact billing, could be used by people um, who are non-premium uh, for server-side issues. And I just wanted to clarify that and uh, see if you could find out if that is the case before we start telling all our users, oh, just call these numbers. Um, one couple of questions on that. One, where did that come from? And two, what kind of server side issues? Uh, okay, it was Gary Linden, and it was on a Jira. Worley might have the Jira, if we're lucky. Um, and, and for server side issues, um, let's see. I, I would I say if it was related to a JIRA, it's probably only issues specifically to that particular JIRA issue that he's maybe worked out with them to go ahead and be dealt with. Uh, I, would, okay. I would doubt that they're going to expand it into all because then everybody's going to call them, and therefore if you have a billing issue, you're never going to be able to get your billing issue handled. Uh, mister, do you have that uh, particular? There you go. Morley just threw it out. Okay, I'll There's go ahead there. and bring that up to my supervisors uh, and see what they, you know, can find about it. They can always ping Gary or bang him over the head if it wasn't, if it shouldn't have been said or whatever, and I'll get back to you. <laughs> well, okay, well, don't tell Gary that I brought it up and asked because I don't want him banging me over the head. But uh, it was yeah, totally it was Ed, totally Ed. <laughs> Sigh. Yeah, j just tell him to get my account banned from Linden Lab. But from nah, nah, you're too much fun to play, with. to play with. Oh, damn. There's, there's just no way out for me, is there? There's, there's much, better, better, much better retributions we can think of than banning you. Damn. <laughs> I'm going to go back to being quiet, Jeff. <laughs> it's usually the safest bet. Yeah, I think, I think uh, Paige is right. I think it was... Um, uh, the Jira in question was one about the the problem we were having with the chat servers locking up and not forwarding any traffic in large numbers of groups. Um, we uh, and that was that was the trigger for the Jira, but the Jira kind of right. was just a request that support be refactored so that things that only Linden Lab can do would be available to non-premium members. Right. Uh, uh, well, I that's mean, still possible. I'm sorry, Oz, go ahead. Go ahead, no. You, you take oh, it. Well, just anybody can submit a guest support case, um, or um, basics can submit, you know, on certain kinds of issues. So in that respect, you have that. It's just that if we were to scale uh, having phone support for every single person that's in Second Life, things would have a different cost analysis to it. Well, I wasn't expecting to get phone support. I was just hoping that, you know, if uh, if a non-premium user had an issue, uh, for example, with their inventory um, uh, or, or 
their region on mainland needed restarting or something, something, well, and only Linded Lab could do it. There's there aren't any options in the support case for actually, a basic user. The second one that you mentioned, there is. Report an offline region is what they should go ahead and do if the mainland region needs to get restarted. We internally shift that over to a region performance case, um, but that's just our back end side of things. Mm -hmm. But we have no problem with them submitting a report an offline region case for a mainland restart kind of issue. Uh, inventory kinds of issues, it would depend upon what it is. If it's, oh, I lost my such and such, that's probably not something that they're going to dig severely deeply into um, on a basic level. But if it's, you know, I have my, none of my inventory showing, you know, something that looks like it's probably more server side of an issue, I would say to go ahead and submit a support case. So the, the, yeah, that's, that's kind of the problem we have run into um, quite a while ago, like Hope just posted, you know, 20 trash folders. If you can't delete them as a user, then you have to have in the lab uh, do something on the server side. And basic members have had a really difficult time getting through to uh, pass the scouts to actually get that done. And that's kind of what prompted me to open the JIRA. Gotcha. Okay, that's definitely... I'm going to definitely pass the JIRA up to my supervisors to see if there's other avenues. It may be as simple as we need to have a few other case types that are open to basics. But again, they have to look and see, you know, what opening those case types up, vice what the um, reasons for them would be. So I'll let that go on over my head, and then I'll let you guys know what comes up with it. Right, yeah. It, it, should, it should only be things that the only solution is that Linden Lab go in and, and do some work. Um, you Absolutely, know, like some sort of an inventory do. corruption or something of that nature, right. which never happens. Yeah, never, no. The, as often as cocoa bugs. The, <laughs> the, the trouble with, um, re with reports of inventory problems is that what we actually get is, uh, you know, reports that uh, the following... 20,000 items have disappeared um, and usually there's nothing we can do. I mean, we can, ser we can search your inventory to see if you actually move them to somewhere else. But um, if they're not in your inventory, they're not in your inventory. There's not much we can right. do. Um, and part of that problem is the, there's perceived inventory loss where all they really need to do is clear their cache and re-log into a sole manual region to go ahead and uh, refresh everything. Um, actually, on the same note, on actually on that particular issue, Ed and Jessica, I've got a question for you guys. I've seen over the past couple of months a large number of inventory issues that um, seem to stem from the return to last known position uh, option. Uh, okay, we, we presently have the return to last position option disabled for no copy items. Um, it, it can on, be circumvented. On belts, on older Firestorm belts, it wasn't. Yeah, the older ones it wasn't. The complaints are that they use the option, it appears in the region for a split second, and then it's no longer in the region and no longer in the inventory. Yeah, that, that's on an older version. Uh, on, on our latest release, if they try to do that with a no copy item, um, it, it, just, it just tells them, sorry, you can't do that. Uh, if they do it with a copyable item and it fails, uh, a relog will return it to their uh, inventory. Perfect. Okay, so I can go ahead and let them know. Check your version of uh, Firestorm. If you're on the most recent version, a relog will probably bring back the item uh, showing in your inventory. If you're not in the most recent item, please update. They need yeah, to be the, on 467, I think. 467. Yeah. Yeah. The, the only caveat there is there is a debug setting that they could switch to allow them to res no copy items. Because even if they have the rights right now, um, for example, uh, you own the whole region and you go to uh, restore the last position for a no copy item, you get the message that you can't do it and it just silently fails. So there is a debug setting that they could flick so that they can actually res that. I'm assuming that you guys view that as like using cheat codes at your own risk? 
Uh, yeah, that's what we tell them. Yeah. You know, it's sort of like you, you, you want to fiddle around with uh, the XML fi files? Uh, sorry, you break it, it's yours. We have <laughs> you want nothing to do with it. We have a model that comes up just when people go into debug settings. We pop up a model to, to warn people. Great, and that also probably explains why I haven't seen it in the past couple of weeks then. So, great. Thank you very much. You're quite welcome. My pleasure. Um, that's a feature that I hear about a lot, and I have never heard anybody offer to contribute it. So, No, it came from you. Oh, yeah. Return to last position? Restore to last position. Originally from Lynn Land. Oh, really? Oh, really? Thank you yeah. for contributing it to us. Oh, wait, no, we stole it. <laughs> uh, no, it, this was originally a snow globe feature, um, and third-party viewers picked it up, and then uh, oh, you got Just because it was in snow globe ways. didn't mean we did it. <laughs> um, and then, uh, this is some time ago, and then you guys made some changes, server end, which broke it, I believe, uh, yeah. and I think it was it's just like never been fixed. Delivery. Oh, that might have uh, been. No, no, it was. Uh, no, it wasn't that. It wasn't that. It, 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 it was what broke it was they fixed a bug where griefers could uh, res objects on land oh, that yeah, they didn't yeah, have yeah, right yeah. on. That's right. Okay. People were resing at zero zero zero, so, so yeah. uh, a, a griefer could come into a region that they have no res rights, um, but res directly at zero 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 with script, and um, then suddenly the region's full of you know spam boxes and. Restore the last position is a really, really useful feature and function for people in Second Life. Where does it store the last position? Server side. Where Where does it get the last position from? I, I should say it's on the server. Uh, well, I believe it's stored in the in the um, uh, prune parameters of the asset itself. Really, there's a Jira for it. Do you, I'll, I'll never be able to find it, but I know there's a Lynn and Jira for that. You see? She's amazing. <laughs> just like a computer, you just... <laughs> unbelievable. Uh, we've, you know, tried you know, to... I know, I know it's broken. Encouraging what you guys I, what to I... fix it for a while. Well. We can't fix it, obviously, because it's, you know, it's a server thing. It would be like, Oz, I would give you like an extra Christmas present if, if you guys fix this. What, are you saying you'd stay away from a half a dozen meetings just so that Oz could get away early? <laughs> <laughs> at least, at least three, half of that, half of a half a dozen. <laughs> uh, well... I don't. I'm, I can't. I can't see this getting <laughs> getting high on the list real soon. Um, oh, it's it's like really, really, really useful for people. I'll I'll tell you what happens. I, is, I believe you. Is, uh, is I also you think it sounds to me like something that would just be just chock full of ways to go wrong. Well, uh, when you're well, when you're a builder and something gets returned back and while you're in the process of something, that comes in really handy to put it right back where you are. Oh, you have to start piecing everything if it's not all locked together. Yeah, or right. Just I, I can totally you understand that. But right -click if you take your house, I mean, just looking at the description here, that it doesn't pay any attention to whether it's the same region or not. You know, that's yeah. just, just like gigantic red flags. Like, well, but you man, can actually... is this going to go wrong more often than not? <laughs> you yeah, know? Feature, and the you problem, here's, here's one of the fundamental problems, right? Um, somebody in support recently asked me, you know, on their wish list of things we'd like to have. They said, can we have the ability to, given the UUID of an object, give us the history of the object? Every time it's been rest somewhere where it was who owned it who transferred it to who who made copies of it right like that right you can't do that it's actually not possible 
because when you put something in the world, it's not in the database anymore. It's in the world. And that's not the same thing. And so, you know, the the sort of the inventory record of a given object uh, is is a dotted line, <laughs> right? It's and you can't always actually connect the dots. We can't, you know, we can tell that something is a particular unique item, but we can't we can't always track it because if it's when it's in the world, it's just in the world. Or when you put it inside another object, um, or when you just store its UUID in a note card. Um, or you know that would be really number, useful though. That, that any would be number a of other things feature. that people could. Yeah, it would, but it would be a fundamental redesign of Second Life. But so but, what's stopping you? Better get started. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, clock's ticking. There is a <laughs> fundamental redesign going on. It's just not of Second Life. But, but, but they, you, they, you've they, got you've got Christmas holidays coming up. Honestly, you can have lots of free time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, Actually, Luminous has a good point. You know. As you said, there's already a redesign going on. Why not include that? I, I I make no claims one way or another because I am very, very, very carefully not learning about the design decisions being made <laughs> in that project. Um, I'm I, I have not even watched the demos um, that they've done. So, you can send me them. I'll know. watch them for you. I try really hard not to learn anything about it um, because I've got plenty to worry about. Um, all of you, for one thing, but uh, no, but it, 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 you know, the 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 problem the problem arises that some of the ways that this could go wrong, and we run into this in a lot of places, is that you can't figure out whether or not something can be resed until you try to res it, um, and that's when you run into all the checks. So. Um, I, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll dig back into this, but it does, it, I have to tell you, it's got a, it, it just has, it just has corner cases written all over it. Right. So, um, well, it used to work with the corner cases, but you know, it worked. Well, yeah. That for some value of work, um, Anyway, I'll, I'll I'll poke at it a bit again, but uh, let's see other other topics. I know I'm still uh, trying to figure out why you find us so worrisome. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I, I can't imagine. You worry too much, Ed. Just paranoia on my part. <laughs> um, I have nothing else. And it's we're only half an hour in, and I'm here. So I don't know how that's happening. Uh, oh, that's, that's bribery. Um, let me see. What have we got? Um look at the calendar here yes okay so we will have one more third party viewer meeting before thanksgiving and then we'll have another one after thanksgiving so this year thanksgiving does not line up in a way that messes us messes up our every other week um, oh and thank you for those stats uh, the welcome. other day we'd almost forgotten all about stats <laughs> yeah sorry oh, yeah that. i was just supposed to do those i forgot about that right <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I would like to do more detailed ones, but I haven't got them for our viewer yet either. So, uh, Veer, thank you for fixing those AIS bugs and removing my excuse. I no longer have an excuse. Yeah, those, those are good. Um. I don't really think we have a, a more detailed update to give on the the CDN and pipelining findings. We're we're still digging and trying things, um, and 
it's all complicated by the fact that you know we're making changes at at our end and the CDN people are also making changes at their end. They're they're also studying this. They care passionately about having our business, so uh, they are paying attention to what's going on and being helpful. Uh, I, I don't know, Paige, these chairs give me chafing or something. <laughs> I Seriously, I don't know what it is, but every time I sit in this chair, my leg twitches. And it's only in these chairs that it happens. Huh. It's all these lindens. They make me nervous. I, I have a quick question. Sure, go What version, uh, Oz, are you shipping for FMOD EX these days? Uh... That's the sort of question I ought to be able to answer relatively easily. Hang on just a second. Yeah, I noticed there were there were more recent versions out there. That wouldn't surprise me. It says in help about. Um, actually, it's visible. So we have the repository here. Actually, that one's going to be private, I believe. No, I don't think so. Uh, is it? Nope. This is the public copy of the private repository. There's nothing in this that's internal. We don't actually put the source in the repo, so um, we just download the sources at build time. So it's whatever version that it downloads. Yeah, I noticed that FMODX is, is now in kind of the retired category. Um, it looks like some people, yeah, it's not on the main. Oh, download oh page you mean anymore. Uh, at uh, at the other end? Yeah. Right, right. So I was, I'm wondering also if there's any plans to go up to the studio uh, version. Um. Well, you know, that's one of those things. Um. Yeah, probably someday. Um, I have not got it on any schedule for anything yet, and. The world being what it is, it may stay that way until it causes a problem that it's not updated. But we'll see. Um, are you guys making any progress on 64-bit? Havoc? We are not attempting to make progress on 64-bit. Bummer. <laughs> we are trying to get things just to compile using the new tools, Auto-build Xcode 6.1 and Visual Studio 2013 and get them working as well as they do now on using those tools. And if after that we have some free time, we maybe will think about 64-bit. Well, Christmas holidays are coming. That gives you some free time. Yeah. No, Jess, we're already using that up. <laughs> oh right. <laughs> right. The uh we we've got we've got the viewer building on 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 uh on the new tools on the on Mac. Um it's not performing as well as we need it to. But uh that's you know, we'll we'll hunt that down. Um but it's uh it does build now, uh, which is which is nice. Um we're getting there on twenty thirteen. Uh, I don't, I don't know, Tang. I don't know what, what we're setting that to. I don't do Windows builds very often. Well, the reason why I bring that up is if you use the latest, um, Windows 8.1 SDK with, uh, .NET 4.5, um, .NET is not available for XP, 
so you won't, so if you go with that, it won't run on XP. It also would mean that you would have to have the latest service pack installed for uh, Vista and Windows 7. Well, XP isn't supported anymore, period. Right. So if it doesn't run there, that's actually not a bug. But, but I don't, but, but the answer is I don't know the answer to your question. Uh, we're doing the builds on Windows 7 machines. Okay. At the moment. You can use the uh, 8.1 SDK on Windows 7. Yes. Yeah, okay. Okay, are we going to get out of here early or what? I think so. Looks that way. Run, Oz, before we figure out some other way to grief you. <laughs> Jeez, is that getting off easy? It must be Friday or something. Uh, Jess is in a good mood, so you're, you're lucky. Uh, no wiki on the new Visual Studios compiling. Well, we kind of have to get it working before we can make it work. Yeah, we're, we're not going to try and document what it what to do until we've actually demonstrated that what we what it, we do works. And we're we're not nearly there yet. Um, there is a wiki page up on the new uh, on the changes to auto build. Uh, those changes haven't been integrated into the main descriptions of auto build and won't be until we switch over to that as a as our primary tool. Um, but uh, it seems to be, it seems to be stable. No, they're not. Okay, well, I guess we get to go home early. Thank you, everybody. Yep. And have a good weekend. Oz, I'm going to have to find some other way some of other briefing way. you. <laughs> but you know, you know, if you eliminate, you know, all the, close out one of one of these communication things and send people all to something else, you're still going to get the same amount of communication. Yeah, but I'll have fewer windows open on my screen. Not if I can help it. <laughs> <laughs> Google Hangouts is my current preferred mechanism. I don't think I've ever used Google I can't Hangouts. Hmm. Um, I but I do I am in IRC all the time. See that's just another window I have to open. Yeah, but Windows on your screen don't bother me a bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to get out of here before uh, I get myself in trouble. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. <laughs> and we'll Bye. catch you later. Um, Great Fox, you wanted to talk to me, so we'll have to go to... I don't know, send me a teleport to the beta testing platform, I guess. You can uh, go to uh, all of the texture tests, too. There you go. No Hi, Jess. Hi, I'm being teleported. Oh, I gotta go. I think it's limited to one person at a time. Oh, two, at least, because I teleported in and Lily was there. All right, no, I logged in when Lily was there. So I guess uh, I'm kind of to log in. Well, maybe they increased it. It was oh, it was just one last week or week before. Yeah. Um, okay, I gotta go. Logged in right where Willie was.
<laughs> if if an avatar logs out in a region and they log back in in the same region while somebody is already there, even if the region limit is if they're above the region limit, you can still log into that region and have more than one person there. That's probably what happened. It's funny you can do that. 